and this is just with applied integration with another one of our Keep IT Simple video tutorials. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to swap out your Neoware for your Wise Thing client. Now, what we're doing is we're sending you a brand new Wise Thing client to swap out this old Neoware. What you're going to be getting in the package is three things one, the keyboard, the mouse, and the new Wise Thing client. So let's begin. You'll get a box that looks similar to this right here. You'll notice on this box, it's got a label on it that says, for example, Gillette TC2. It'll also have the location of where that goes. Now this corresponds with the BizTrack location of your computer on the network. For example, Gillette Customer Service Desks. You want to place that there and leave it there until you give us here at Applied a call. You'll notice there's a label on the outside that says, Do Not Open. Give us a call before you open anything up so we can be standing by to make sure this goes as smooth as possible. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to go ahead and open this guy up. Go ahead and remove the stop sign. Here's your new keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and just set that aside for a minute. And you'll notice inside the box there's quite a bit of stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove the paperwork and set that aside. There's our new mouse. I'm going to set that aside. And we've got our power cord and the power brick. And I've also got a video adapter. That's going to go hook to your existing, that right there is going to hook to your existing monitor. So we're going to set that aside as well. And of course, candy. That's what you're waiting for. Let's go ahead and take the thing client out. All right. I'm going to set this box down here on the side. All right. You'll notice we've got all of our new stuff right here. Keyboard, mouse, power cord, video converter, power brick. I also pulled the feet out of the box. This is the feet for the new thing client. And there's our new thing client. You'll notice also it's labeled on the thing client as well. It's very important these stay in the right location. Now, let me go over here and I'll show you how to disconnect your old Neoware thing client. All right, we're back here on the back of the Neoware right now. If you notice, you've got several things plugged in. The first of which, this right here, you should, well, you may or may not have a symbol scanner like such. That's what this first cable is. But let's go ahead and just unplug that. We're going to need to plug that back into the new device. Set that down. The next one is your network cable. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that. Now, it may have a boot on it. It's like a big phone jack. So keep that in mind. As, as you unplug it, you want to push down and pull it out. Set that aside. The next two devices are your keyboard and mouse. We don't need these anymore because we're getting replacements. So let's go ahead and unplug those two. And I can set these aside and get rid of these. Next, we have our cable to our monitor. Let's unplug that. And then our power cable, like so. Now we're completely disconnected. Let's go ahead and move that wise thing line in its place. All right, let's go ahead and hook up this wise thing client. You'll notice this one right here. It's labeled to the right location. Check and verify that's the right location. That makes a big difference when we're setting it up. Now let me set this down. There are several cables we're dealing with here now. First of all, we've got our USB cable. Now you may or may not have this, depending if you've got a scanner connected to this individual thing client. So if you have that, we're going to keep that. We also have a network cable here. That you definitely will have and will need in the future. So hang on to that. We've also got a power cable. We're not going to need this one anymore. We're going to replace it with another one. So I'm going to set that one aside. And we've got the video cable. We're going to need this as well. That hooks us to the monitor. We're going to set this down because we're going to use it again. Now you have a choice here. Depending on how your cables are routed, your keyboard and mouse, you may decide to keep those, which is fine. They'll work with the new thing client. So hang on to those if you want to keep them. If not, you have a brand new keyboard and mouse you can use, or you can set that on the shelf for later use. So let's go ahead and begin. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start off by getting my power hooked up. This is what we pulled out of the box. So let me take this out of the sleeve. That's the power brick. 
and take the cord of its little Ziploc bag. So there's our power cord and our power brick. They plug in accordingly like this. If it doesn't fit, it will not go. So keep that in mind. Just plug that in, make sure that's snug. I'm going to go ahead and undo this. And bring that around and plug it into my power. Okay. Now I've got my power brick and my cable. When this is lit up, you'll see a blue light here on the brick. That lets you know you have power. So there's our brick, there's all of our cables, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. To begin with, I'm going to start on the far right hand side. There's my power, like so. And then I've got my keyboard, which is purple, and all the colors match evenly, so it should be fairly simple. And then we've got our mouse. And this is where our adapter for our video comes into play. Here's our existing video cable. This is the video adapter we pulled out of the box. Let me go ahead and open that up. Take the bubble wrap off of it. Okay, and the way this hooks in, this cable just plugs into here, like so. And you can screw those ends in. That'll keep that cable nice and snug. And then it's going to plug into your video right into your thin client like so. It's only going to go in one way, so if it doesn't fit, turn it over and try it a different way. I'm also going to snug those cables down. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the network cable until it clicks. That click tells us it's made a good solid connection. Next is going to be my USB. And once again, if it doesn't fit, turn it over. It's only going to go in one way. And that's how we connect the, the wise thing client up. All right, let me show you to put the legs on. These are the legs we pulled out of the box. There's four of them. Now, this model right here, unfortunately, does not stand vertically. It will rest horizontally, but it does not stand vertically with the legs. So if it needs to go vertically, you can simply hold it up and if it'll rest between whatever you've got, it'll probably stay there. But let's go ahead and put the legs on. You'll notice on the side there's little channels here that the legs will go on. So I'm just going to put those on there and slide it down, just like that. There's two on that side. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And as far as the legs, that's really about it. All right, you're completely hooked up. All your cables are connected. You've got your feet on. So you're just about ready to go. We just need to hit the power button. That's this button right here. All you're going to do is tap that once, and the device will light up and come on. So now your thin client's ready to go. We just have a little bit of cleanup to do next. The old Neoware. We don't need those back. Those can be disposed of however you'd like to dispose of them. Those we do not need back. Your old keyboard and mouse, should you choose to use the new one, those can be disposed of as well. We don't need those back as well. So you can dispose of it as those. And, of course, the candy. Enjoy.